Hey everyone, we're just so glad to be with you today. And I want to give you a quick highlight of some of the ministry updates for us and for Freedom International and just highlight three categories, vocational training, the intelligence team, and also some COVID community development over the last year. 2021 was a unique year, but an amazing year as we saw new staff added and we saw great opportunities for new outreaches into the island here of Phuket. One update about our vocational training is we were uh, able to have eight students graduate in November, the end of November, and all eight of them ended up professing faith in Jesus. Six of them we got to baptize, and it was just such a great end to the year to see that the thing we cared about most happened. Um, and now this year, we have only two students involved in our vocational training program so far, but uh, the local orphanage has asked us to take 14 of their young girls into our training program just for their six week summer break. And already out of 14 of those girls, six have said that they want Jesus to be their Lord and Savior. So it's been really exciting uh, with the intelligence team. Unfortunately with COVID, everything went online. We know that, uh, but so did exploitation. And so our intelligence team has really seen open doors over this last year as they support the government with uh, forensic equipment uh, to, and, and actually intelligence officers that do a lot of research. And some quick stats would be, they've done 18 forensic interviews, 17 cases, and, the, and our social workers have had 97 Jesus-centered uh, conversations with women and children at risk and who have been exploited. So that's been an incredible yay God. We're excited about that. But we know COVID's been hard. Wherever you are in the world, COVID's been hard. And so one of the things that we've done is actually focused with the governor and with the province on COVID support. And so that was uh, hundreds of food, dry food packages. There were milk packages with families with babies that didn't have access to milk. Supporting foster families who want to share the love of Jesus with many as they foster. And all this, uh, praise God, is that the governor gave us an award, the organization award for all of the work. And so that is only because of Jesus. And the thing to highlight here as we close is that in 2021, in the beginning of this year, God has opened so many doors that more ministry has happened in the last year and a half that has happened in the combined total uh, timeline that we have been here and been working with this uh, new startup, this organization. So we want to say thank you. Thank you for your generosity, uh, how you give and how you are on mission and making his name more famous there and allowing us to do that here. God bless you.